They say that if two bombs explode at the same time, their shockwaves will cancel each other out, meaning a person standing in the middle would walk away completely unharmed. To test whether that claim holds up, the Mythbusters team first conducted a baseline test using 5.5 pounds of TNT. With a thunderous explosion, the shockwave spread outward at a speed visible to the naked eye. Fortunately, all the sensors survived. After analyzing the data, the computer showed that the pressure recorded by the center sensor was 50 pounds per square inch. Next, they mounted identical charges symmetrically on both sides of the floating platform. To make sure the explosions happened simultaneously, they connected the charges with detonating cords of exactly the same length. But when Adam pressed the trigger, nothing happened. No explosion, no blast, nothing. The fire from the detonating cord fizzled out as soon as it reached the water's surface. Clearly, the detonation line had gotten wet, so they replaced the cord and set up for a second attempt. This time, the explosion was so powerful it made both of them jump. The double charge was obviously much stronger than before high-speed cameras captured two shockwave bubbles forming and colliding at the center. A perfect simultaneous detonation. But would the pressure at that intersection really cancel out? When they checked the data, they were stunned to find that the pressure at the intersection point reached 100 pounds per square inch, exactly double that of the single explosion. Clearly, the shockwaves from two identical blasts don't cancel each other out. They combine, and if anyone were standing between them, they wouldn't just be unharmed, they'd be obliterated.